Okay. You know, honestly, there's a lot of things that we can do or could suggest to be done. But you know what? As long as we keep electing these cronies up in Washington, as long as we keep feeding to that bullshit, it nothing never change. Trust me, it's gonna be like this forever. I mean, you're still gonna have wars, you're still gonna have crime, you're still gonna have us giving our money to somebody else across the seas. That is just gonna happen. Let's just get used to it. Seriously, I actually wrote a list right here. Bullshit. Why? Why bother? This is what we got. This is what we elected. I'm not saying anything about the president, but if I was Barack Obama, I'd reach down and grab a pair. You are the president of the United States of America. Stop letting Congress tell you what the fuck to do. That's, I mean, our government is corrupt, is broken, it need to be overhauled. We need to be liberated here. I th seriously, we should be liberated. And, and for those who don't feel like the same way, I think I'm a little off. I am. But, hear me out. If you ever saw this movie called uh, Capitalism, a love story by Roger Moore, really, really, really good filmmaker. One of my favorite documentaries. You can see how this system gives in to be corrupt and manipulated and disemboweled by the people who have power. I'm not worried about the neighbor down the street. I'm not worried about that guy on the subway. I'm worried about the people that's in Washington, D.C. And the guy that we elected as president because he's standing there letting them run all up on him. You are the president of the United States, sir. Damn. What Bush for was that he had a pair of balls. He, he didn't let Congress or anybody tell him what he did. He ran the country like he saw fit. Barack Obama need to stop being such a nice guy. We need to stop giving our money to Haiti. We need to fix our infrastructures. We need to take care of our own people as Americans. We need to start here. How can we fix problems over there when we got a ton of problems here? We have, you know what really irritated me the most about the whole Haiti thing? I'm not anti-Haiti. I'm not anti-human. I'm just a common sense person. Is that people are getting put in jail for trying to take little kids and bring them over here to adopt. Or they're really going out there to adopt Haitian kids. We have kids here that need to be adopted and take care of. Because their parents are drug addicts, crazy, or whatever. We need to get back that feeling we got from 9-11. I ain't talking about the scared, fearful feeling. I'm talking about the united feeling. That united party, United States of America, that's us. We need to get rid of these people up in Washington who are constantly taking our money, who are taxing us heavily while the rich walking around chilling in this economy. Yes, there actually still are rich people left, believe it or not. So, in closing, we can talk, yep, 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 all fucking day about shit, but if we're just sitting here talking and not out there voting, or doing something to help our community. We're just talking. That's all we're doing. And that's all I'm doing. Thanks for your attention.